Hello, ladies. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It is Sunday, so it is time for my Sunday Night Live. We have about a minute, I think. Half, oh, no, we don't. I thought we did, but it's 7 o'clock, so we're going to get started. I was just out here cleaning my tools a little bit before it was time, but I guess time slipped away. I'm looking to see if anybody's on yet. I don't see anybody. Oh, there we go. Here comes the numbers. All right. Hello, everybody. Let me know that you're here and who you are and where you're from and all that kind of good stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before I get started, I am going to warn you <clears throat> that I'm still under the weather a little bit. I don't feel bad, but I have a cough and um, congestion and my cough just doesn't I don't cough very often but when I do it's like an attack <laughs> so if that happens excuse me in advance I brought some water out here and I brought my Kleenex out here so hopefully I don't have one of those little spits um, tonight and the other thing is, um, <clears throat> I did not get to have open house this month. I think this is the first time, maybe the second time ever since I started open house years and years and years ago that I was not able to follow through with my commitment. Um, my mom has not been doing well lately and um, my cold, I, I didn't want to pass that on to anybody. So, and my husband has the same cold, so we didn't want to make anybody else sick. And, um, and then taking care of my mom has been a little um, bit extra lately. So I apologize for that. And then I thought I would have it this coming Thursday. I thought my cold would be gone. Well, that's only four days from now and it's still here. So I think with everything that's going on with my mom, maybe um, I should just not, not have open house this month and see how it goes with her. And then by next month, I'll be well. And I won't spread any germs to anybody, okay? So that's just a little update, and I will announce that in writing as well. Okay, let's get started at 7 o'clock. I am using this cute set bundle called Everyday Details. And I know a lot of you already have the dies and things. You've told me that you love them. So I have them now, and I know why you love them. Oh my gosh, great, great bundle. Let me turn you down, <clears throat> do a little bit of my housekeeping. Okie dokie. All right, here we go. I don't see any names. Are you guys telling me your names or are they just not coming up today? I don't see any comments. Let me see, comments will appear here, but I don't see any. Swipe, okay, I see a heart. There's Deborah French, all right, maybe it was something. There's Marsha Long, okay, now I see some names. Thank you, Marsha, very much. She, she definitely could use them right now. Hi, Christine, thank you, I, I feel fine. I'm just gonna cough a little bit, maybe, all right. <clears throat> so again, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. Hi, Lori. Um, here is my host code for the month of March. If you need that, I'll just keep it up there for a second so you can get that copied down. And then you can shop with me on my website, beverlystamps.stampinup.net. And also I have a YouTube channel. I always um, upload my lives to YouTube so you can send people there you may know that don't have Facebook. And then um, you can email me at mofun44 at icloud.com if you have any questions or needs. Um, <clears throat> I uh, made a few things in the past, but they were projects for open house and they were um, different things that nobody won a prize and I was kind of feeling bad. So I, I, one of them was my paper pumpkin. I made this adorable little booklet, but I haven't been giving prizes away lately. So I thought I would draw a name and give one of these little booklets away. I hope you guys like them. And the lucky winner is Mary Jo Vasty. Mary Jo, 
I will send this to you. Please send me your address. I want to make sure it's the same or I have the right one. I've been having a lot of problems with mail lately, and I just want to make sure it gets to my friend and not get lost somewhere. Okay, congratulations, Mary Jo. All right, everyday details. <clears throat> here is the stamp set, and here is the bundle code. It's super cute. Um, it's one of the stamp sets that could be used for a bunch of different occasions, and it has lovely sentiments. So I really, really like it a lot. And then it has the coordinating dies, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Where is it in the catalog? <clears throat> it's on page 28, right here. And the bundle is, is listed here at the bottom. It has beautiful samples. And I think you'll love it a lot. If you haven't noticed it, you will like it. The other item I'm using tonight is the uh, Stripes and Splatters 3D Embossing Folders, and I'm going to use the Stripes. One reason I'm using these tonight is because you could have earned them, and maybe you did with, during celebration. It was an add-on that you could pick from if you had a $50 qualifying order, and um, I was so happy with that because I had actually broken one of my folders, and so I got a new set, and I'm so glad I did because this card really needed this folder in it to just finish it off. Now, did you notice um, <clears throat> the name of the, the title of this live? It's Everyday um, Details Bundle Primitive uh, Look, I think is what I named it. Um, what I mean by primitive is a very simple simple flower, simple card that doesn't have a lot of, oh, fancy things around it. It's kind of just a primitive style. Um, I also call it Mary Ingle Bright style, which is, I love her as an artist. I just love everything she does. And this card reminds me of her. Here are all the dies. I laid them out, hoping you could see them on this black tray really well because they're just awesome dies. This large rectangle has double uh, holes. Then the other two next down have single. This one has stitching. And then there's two um, straight lines that have this design on them. Really, really cute. And then this design is amazing really like that one a lot too and then the circles now the largest circle is a regular circle with the holes and then the next size down is double and then another size down with single and then this one has stitching so I'm using this one today tonight just oh not just this one I use this one and I believe it was the largest one yeah, I use these two tonight. <clears throat> so let me get those out. And then on the inside of my card, I'm going to use these two. So I did land up using four of the dies out of this set. <clears throat> let me show you what they look like and other things you can do with them. Plus, I'm going to show you something else you can do with them tonight as well. So let's start with the little round stitched one. This is going to be my primitive flower in real red cardstock. Here is a regular one, but if you put this die inside of it, it will cut it out and make it a frame. Otherwise, it would look like this. This is how it cuts it out. And then you add this one in the center and you get this ring or a frame. <clears throat> then here's the next size up and the largest size up and then the double and then I put this size back in the frame and it cut this out and you have another large frame isn't that cool I'm sure there's a lot more you can do with them mine are new I've only had them about five days maybe four and that's what I've figured out to use how to use them so far 
Here are um, those straight designs. That's what they look like. This one I cut out of the, of the paper, so it, it makes the design on the paper like this, and then I cut them out. And then here's the rectangles. There's the smallest dotted, I'll call them dotted, and then they graduate up. Now look what happens when you cut these out. Then you have a rectangle frame. So, and then you can use the negative and then you can cut with your uh, paper trimmer around the edges and you'll get this frame here. Isn't that cool? You can add <clears throat> this size in the middle and get another look of a frame. So I was just playing with them, throwing them on top of each other, cutting things out with the paper trimmer and getting all kinds of different um, images with these dies. So let me show you the card and see how you like it. Now Mary Inglebright does a lot of black and white and red and bright colors and so that and then the the gingham so that reminded me of her so much and then you make every day a little brighter is from the stamp set. So everything is using this bundle right here. Thank you for the hearts. I'm glad you like it. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Look at all of the, um, can you see in my lighting? Uh, I don't know if you can see the folder in there. And then here's the inside. Again, my, my um, if you're commenting, I'm not seeing them. Uh, they stopped at Lori telling me she's glad I was doing a live tonight and I haven't seen any more comments. So either you're not talking or my comments aren't working. I'm not sure. And then there, I also on this card, look how cute these are. These are the adhesive back hearts and flowers. And I used the little white daisy with the yellow dot right in the middle of the flower there. So let's get started making this card. <clears throat> I'm taking an eight and a half by 11 piece of black cardstock for the card base and my paper trimmer. And I decided since this card is so simple that I would um, cut out everything right in front of you here. So there's my card base. And then I need a layer piece. So I'll take the other half and I'll cut this down at by four, cut it down at four and then at five and a quarter. <clears throat> okay. I already have my four by five and a quarter white cardstock cut out. So I just want to tell you that. And then I'm going to take this piece and fold it over as my card base. Corner to corner, rub, and then take your bone folder. Darn it, I really hate it when my comments aren't working. I know you guys are probably saying stuff. Hopefully they show up on my replay so I can see if you're asking any questions or anything. Then I just winged it back so I have my nice seam right there. Okay, so let's take this now, this piece here, and we're gonna layer it right on top, but it, it in order to fancy it up and get some texture, we're gonna use the folder. Okay, so I'll do that right now. Now remember, this is a narrower folder then the other ones, this is a two piece uh, folder set. So I'm just sticking it into the folder. I'm using the black line like I always do, right down here. Try to get it straight here. <clears throat> and I'm also getting the end of the cardstock onto the end of the folder right here. Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze it shut and bring over my cut and boss machine. <laughs> and get it set up for a folder. Lay my, fold my folder and the paper on the machine. I have 
platform number one with platform number four laying on top and then I'm rolling it through. And then I will have this pretty look here. There, now I should, you can see it good. Okay, since I have my cut and boss machine out, I'm just gonna leave it out. And we're gonna build our platforms one, two, and three, and we're gonna do the cutting of the circle that I talked about in red. And that is gonna be my little flower. Very simple. I just went backwards, you don't have to, just so I could grab it here with my left hand and punch it out and I've got the stitching. Such a cute circle. Okay, now I'm gonna take some granny apple green and I'm gonna cut two pieces and show you how this circle with the stitching We'll cut out two pieces at once, and I want to, because this is how I made my leaves. Again, I'm only going back on it so I can grab it with my left hand. It's easier for me. Okay, now because of the stitching on the circle, when you punch it out, these two are gonna be tightly woven together because of the stitching. So all you have to do is bend. Did you hear that crack? I was talking. You can hear it crack when you bend it. And when you bend it, it will allow you to separate them easily and get them both apart. Otherwise, you're gonna be trying to pick at it and pick at it. So just bend it both directions and they'll pop so you can pull them apart. Now I'm gonna take them back, put them back together like this get some tape and get my circle and I'm going to put my circle back my circle die back onto the circle cardstock tape it down and see where I have it I should have explained I have it a little over halfway onto the cardstock tape it down and go through again So now I'm going to take this off, punch these out. Let's get rid of the tape. <clears throat> and I have two leaves. Boy, this tape's not good today. Probably because there's two pieces of cardstock. So it's a little thicker, so the pressure's tighter. There we go. So aren't those adorable, fat little healthy leaves there? And what I love about them so much is that they have the stitching as well, both, both sides. So that's, you can make leaves with those, with any circles, your circle punches, any of them, the same amount. Okay, so here is my flower and there are my leaves. Now I'm gonna take a piece of the granny apple green cardstock, and I don't need a great big stem, so I'm putting the edge of my cardstock on the first little measuring, um, what is it, rise? It's a raised area here just after the cutting. I'm putting the corner right to that corner, and I'm just cutting a little slice to have a stem. Okay. Let's get our card back and I'm gonna put it down with glue. Let's look at the card and everything I've always taught you, we don't see ribbon going under any of the layering piece, so it's safe to put this down. I'm gonna open up my card so it lays flat, turn this on its back, and then put on my glue. You can bend your layer piece slightly up like this, and then you can see before placing it down that you are even top, bottom, and sides. You have your little frame 
even at the top, the bottom, and the sides. Then you can close it up and press on the back side of your card to get everything even, evenly glued down. Okay, so now I, in advance, I cut out the white one, and this is just gonna go right here like this. Okay, again, you're gonna look for your placement, and I'm gonna put the glue on the inside of the holes, just because it's, there's more room and it's easier, and it won't seep through the holes. So now again, I gotta pull it down so I can see better. I'm gonna look for my placement. Black on black is probably hard for you guys to see. It's hard for me to see even. And there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take my stem and I'm gonna put it right over the holes, right like that. So just a little bit of glue on the back of the skinny piece of cardstock. And place it right down, covering up these holes right here on this side. I didn't tell you a length just because you're going to be able to put your flower wherever you want. You can make it as short or as tall as you want by covering up the end just like that, right? Okay, so let's get a dimensional. <clears throat> And I'm actually going to get four dimensionals and place them on the back of the red circle. And the reason I use four is I just want everything to be evenly distributed and it to be um, nice and solid. And I'll just place my flower about there. I left about three holes showing. On this one I left two, so it just does just whatever you like. This leaf I'm going to place on the top, and this leaf I'm going to place underneath. Isn't that adorable? So on this one you can just eyeball where you need your glue, and set it down, and on this one we're going to need it approximately here and I'm connecting it to the red flower as well. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little embellishment, and this one I opened from the top for some weird reason, and when I was making this card, it was so frustrating to me to try to get this back in the packet, so I'm gonna do it the way I normally do now. It's so much easier, and just pull one out, Use my take your pick tool and set that right down there. Isn't that cute? I kind of lined up the petals in line with the holes just for some symmetry there. And then this slips right back in. That took two seconds, right? Oh, you should have saw me struggle with that, trying to get it in the pack the other day. It's crazy. Okay, so like we're gonna take about eight inches of ribbon eight and a half, somewhere in that, that size. And we're gonna make our little bow. Pinch, come around. And put it in like that. Okay, pull tight, and then you start to fiddle with the, the bow and make it look perfect the way you want it. Push on the little loop so they're fluffy. And I need my ribbon scissors. I cut, cut it off the spool without my ribbon scissors and it was a little bit difficult. And then mini glue dots. Take my mini glue dots, put them on the knot of the bow, put them, I put two, and then I finish off my little flower just like that. And I think that is so Mary Englebright. Do you guys agree? You're probably telling me stuff, but I am not seeing it, so. Okay, now it looks a little plain because there's not a sentiment yet. 
So I'm gonna take a scrap piece of cardstock and my Memento ink. Let me see if I can get this to work. Nope. And, oh, there's Grace. Now it's working again. Hi, Diane. Hi, Viola. Hello, Jean. Oh, now they're coming. Christine, so cute. Fun way to use the circle dies. Yes, it is. Hi, Roz. Okay, so I'm inking up the You Make Every Day a Little Brighter. Stamping that on my scrap. <clears throat> And then with my paper scissors, I'm just gonna fussy cut this out. When my sentiments are straight and then they have um, a Y or a B or a T that's higher, I go straight until like right here there's a V, so then I move the paper and go around like this, up and back, and then around the Y. And just moving the paper, to go around the images is the way I do it. And um, I find it very simple, doesn't take a long time, and it looks very, very nice. You'll get compliments on, does that have a die? Nope, I cut it out just by moving the paper and using my snips. That's all it is. <clears throat> To keep saying excuse me this darn cold now i've been told by many people that this cold lasts up to a month my and i know it's true because ken did have it and silly me uh, well him too about three weeks ago he we were saying oh my gosh you didn't get it bev and i'm like no i refuse to get sick i will not catch your cold you know i just won't do it i refuse and it's like a day later <laughs> I start coughing like oh I didn't knock on wood um but it like I said you don't feel sick a little tired I catch myself doing things and then when I come in I'll take a little cat nap <clears throat> but I think a lot of that too is some stress with my mom um poor thing I just you know I don't know <clears throat> she is 96, so I should just be grateful, right? So I'm putting some glue on here. And then I'm just going to place this down. And what I did was I made sure the R was on, on brighter, was at the end of the card, and then I laid the, the You Make Me down instead of, what I'm trying to say, instead of starting here and laying it down, start here on the end and then you'll know that you not, you're not going over or it's not cut off too short and look kind of weird. Isn't that cute, you guys? I think it's so darn cute. But I love this primitive look. This is one of my other looks that I've always, always, always loved and done. And so I don't know if you do as well. I, it seems that I either go cutesy or fancy. <laughs> That's about me. Nothing in between, right? Okay, so here is our layer piece. And I was thrilled with these two dies as well because you can lay them on your cardstock. Now, I'm using the bottom of the cardstock as my guide. And I'm going to just lay them down and then get some tape. And if you if you can keep them straight by using the end of the cardstock as your guide, you'll be good. You do have to tape them down though. They will not stay on their own lined up perfectly like that. They will move if you don't use your tape. And this is post-it note. You can get it, post-it note tape. You can get it on Amazon. I've said that a million times, but just in case somebody missed it. So I'm butting them up against each other and then looking at the end of the cardstock. Okay, let's get my machine again. <clears throat> So 
So if you want to cover a whole layer piece with these two dies, you have the coverage plus a lot more. So you could even go longer if you need to, like on a scrapbook page or something. <clears throat> or a 3, 3D project, anything that's bigger. Or you could use that other crisscross one that I showed you. That goes across too with extra space. It's more than enough long. Penny go there we are okay so let's pull this off look at that they're so cute every time I pull the die off I just say oh my gosh how cute these are oh my gosh how cute these are and even though it's two dies butted up together I wanted you to see how perfect that looks right so happy with that Sometimes there's a big space and it doesn't quite look right. So, you know, you don't, you're not, you don't want to do, you don't want to use it that way. But this one works perfect. So now I'm inking up wishing you so much joy on this special day. And I'm going to line this up with my grid paper. Tap, tap, tap. And stamp this down. Now I have two other cards made with this set, um, but I'm not gonna share them with you tonight. I'm gonna try to stay ahead of the game and be prepared just in case things happen with my mom um, that I'm, you know, don't have time to prep. And I will show those to you at a later day. And one of them has a cute little new bow that I came up with and, um, I'll share that with you. I might not wait till Sunday. Mom is sleeping a lot. And if she's sleeping and doing fine, I might come out here and, and do a pop-up or something. Keep myself busy. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Cute little primitive Mary Inglebright card oh i see a heart hi lori welcome thank you roseanne now i i swiped and every time i swipe i see three or four comments and then they go away again oh i'm glad you like it hi cookie hi colleen oh look at all those hearts you guys are precious thank you so one of you um lucky per people comment um and watch my videos whether you're on youtube or facebook and you could win in these cute little primitive cards okay any questions now that i can see no all right good night you guys have a nice safe blessed week bye-bye